Hey, welcome back, everybody. Welcome to Scribbles with Jonathan. My name is Jonathan Rector. You can check out my website and my work at jonathanrector.com. And we're just doing some more character sketching today. This one was before the big day job, so I thought, what the hell, we'll hit record. I've been doing a couple of these on my Facebook page and stuff. Uh, so why not get some more content out there on uh, YouTube? Um, so right away, uh, just very quickly, you know, I was working on a character thumb, you know, like a just a rough sketch. And I, you know, like I've talked before, the more you do this stuff, the more you start nailing it right away. And uh, I, I was planning on doing a few thumbnails, but uh, this one, you know, the gesture and everything turned out pretty good. So I figured, what the hell, I'll stick with it. I kind of liked where it was going. And it is just supposed to be a sketch, so I'm not going too crazy with the underlying uh, drawing. It, it, it turns out pretty well at the end, I, I think. Um, and initially, what this is going to be is uh, just a villain design, just you know, something that just pops in my mind, whatever's you know, feels good at the time. And initially, this guy was going to be uh, where his head is. His head was surrounded by a giant fish bowl, and there'd be fish swimming around it. But uh, the more I was drawing and stuff like that, what it ended up turning into is. Um, this guy, I don't know, maybe he's a, a villain of space or something like that, like uh, the universe and cosmos and all that kind of stuff. So uh, what you'll see I end up doing is his whole head just becomes like a container for space. And he's got a belt, and the belt's got space in it as well, except I try to put a face in there. So the villain's face is more on, on his belt than it is in the head. And, um, and yeah, we go from there. So again, just kind of using that underlining drawing as an idea of uh, some of the things that I'd like to incorporate there. Um, just breaking up some of the line art to start adding in some more detail into his costume. And, uh, you know, it's, it's looking good so far. And here we go, we got the circle. Now, as you can see right here, this is where I quickly start sketching in a face. Um, just some ideas. I'm not exactly sure where I wanted to go with it just yet. Um, I, I did want to have it so it wasn't crystal clear you know like there is that dark energy in there or there's something interfering with the clarity of the light um, so you can see I'm kinda like doing cross hatching here just to try to give it that effect and then just start adding in some solid blacks just to help solidify it and then adding some eyes and there you go those circles are actually supposed to be bubbles but um, I ended up leaving them in there because it still kinda looks like space <laughs> and here you'll see again kinda rendering it like I would metal in a way and then just going over it and just adding some more special effects. Again, this was still at this point supposed to be bubbles. Um, I forget at which time I decided to go into a space theme. I might actually be coming up. Yeah, there you go. Okay, so I was kind of doing little squigglies, make them look like galaxies a little bit, and then start adding starbursts and that. So at that point, I knew right away. Even though it was just a very subtle change, uh, you know. And then you give the character a name. Uh, what did I end up calling this guy? Uh, let me just pull up what I had here. Uh, Megacosm. I thought that was pretty cool sounding. And here I'm just flaring his legs out a little bit, just giving a little, more, a little bit more dynamics to him. A little perspective to him. And there, now he's pretty much done. So I just make up a new layer here and uh, just title her inks. And go in there and just, uh, my favorite tools here obviously are your pen tool or whatever uh, you're normally drawing with. And then your paint bucket. Just fill that sucker in with black. And then... Uh, I tried to re reserve myself a little bit here and just do the solid blacks first uh, and then do rendering. I did do a little bit of rendering here and there, but uh, all in all, I kind of saved it up, which is, you know, it's easier to work that way for me. You can start seeing where your blacks actually are, like your solid blacks, and then you can see how far you need to pull it with your rendering um, so that it's clear. Uh, you People like to work in different ways. Some people, they like to just render and put in your blacks at the same time. I mean... I would highly recommend doing both, just seeing what you like, and eventually you will get comfortable. And you probably don't need to do what I'm doing, where it's just do the blacks and then do the rendering. Uh, I think you'll find the more you draw as well, you start combining steps that you may have started with before. So if you're doing, like, let's say way back in the day, you would do a gesture drawing, then you would do your anatomy over top of that gesture, then you would put a costume and stuff. Uh, you'll start to find, at least for me, as you get into it and the more you do it, a lot of the gestures, they start looking kind of similar. And you start putting anatomy in with your gestures. You know, it's not just that lines for, like, skeletons and stuff like that. You're actually putting in volume for your shoulders and, you know, all the muscles that will go over top of it. So the more accustomed you get to drawing, the more steps you actually remove. Um, so, I mean, that that's positive right there, you know. Speeds your, uh, your uh, workflow up a bit. And here I didn't want to render his uh, feet. Just, you know, kind of cheesed it up a little bit. Just added some rendering on there. And uh, it was looking good, so I forgot the little shadows on his little belt there, his little pockets. No idea why a guy that has space <laughs> and energy flowing through him would need pockets, but what the hell, I thought it was kind of funny. 
At first, he was a fishbowl guy, like I said. It was going to be for fish food that he could just put inside of his... <laughs> inside a little bowl there to keep the fish alive. Um, so yeah, I made a new layer and then just started doing the rendering. Now, what you're going to want to remember and think about when you're doing rendering is you're not just throwing straight lines. Try not to think like that. Try to think that you're rounding forms out. You know, very rarely on your arm or anywhere on you, if you look on you, your muscles actually go straight. Um, if you were to hold your arm straight out in front of you with your fingers extended and run your hand across your bicep, you know, all of that is going straight towards your fingertips and stuff, but it's actually, you know, dipping forward and dipping back as it goes and uh, wraps around bone and things. Um, you know, and if you, if you were to keep your hand out like that still and just make a solid fist and you can feel your forearm, Right near the top, it just starts dipping in and out. And if you just start, you know, like uh, going from your hand going straight to a fist, straight to a fist, you can feel it popping around. I'm sure most of us have felt our arms a little bit, you know, and just, you know, think about how that muscle feels, you know, like squeeze your bicep as hard as you can right now, you know, just pop that little golf ball up or whatever size bicep you got. And, you know, it's, it's curved, you know, there's shape to it. So always try to think like that and remember that when you're doing your rendering, you know. Try to get volume to the shapes. Try to have something happening. Uh, just makes it look a little bit better, and uh, so yeah. So there we go. So just adding some little starburst right in the center there. Uh, I doubt I'll ever color this, but you know, if I could sell the idea that there's energy coming out of his head, which is black and white, that's cool. And here, there's just a quick brush. I think I modified. It's just like a starburst thing, just to give him a little bit more. You know, looks like he's got some some energy popping out around him. So looks like the video is about to wrap up. Appreciate your guys' time. Keep reading comics. Keep making comics. We'll talk to you in the next video, and uh, have a great week. Bye.